So now I have these on here good and tight. Strain relief in case this ever pulls out. This is not going to come off of here. Okay, so now I'm going to take the cover. And if your cover doesn't have these other screws, the center ones will hold it just fine. Okay, so now we have these. So push those through and uh, get this little guy started. The connectors are real heavy duty black connectors. I chose white on the outlets because it's easier to see where to plug in. Okay, now let's uh, double check our camera angle here, and that looks pretty good. We'll just adjust it a little bit there. So now, <clears throat> we have to get all this in the box, and we'll have our jumpers in here too, so that shows us that the box is closing up fine. Now on the back, you got these little push connectors in here, and it's kind of hard to see on the camera, but if you ever, ever replaced one of these receptacles, you'll know what I'm talking about. <clears throat> A lot of uh, mobile homes and trailers, that's all they use is the push connectors because it's real quick. Well, we're going to use it for the jumpers. So the white wire is on this side, so we're going to jump from this hole to this hole. And you basically just get it started in there and push it right in. <clears throat> Sometimes you need pliers. There we go. Now you'll also notice there's holes on the bottom and that's in case you actually wanted to split these receptacles up because you can cut this little bridge and make these two individual receptacles. So what we're going to do <clears throat> is we're actually going to push the wire in here just for extra connection. There we go. Same thing with the black, it's going to go on this side. Like I said, I cut these long. It makes it a little harder to get into the box, but in the end, it's a little bit better deal. So now basically I just need to kind of try to flatten them down a little bit like this. And we just close the box up. And there you go. Whoops. There's your first box. So now we need to put the mail end on here and put the next box on here and then the final box. And there's your stringer. <clears throat> so now we're going to cut. cable okay so there now Loosen that back. So we got green, white, black. OK, 
Okay, now we'll try it again. Let's try this white and black. Okay, that pushed in pretty good. Screws in my way. There we go. So, do whatever you can do to make sure this is as close as possible. So we have roughly three-eighths to half an inch showing here. So now we'll slide our connector up here. See where our little key is. I think it'll only slide on there one way. There we go. Alright, so we got this uh, rubber seal. We'll slide it up. I guess if inside the hole here, can I seat it? Perfect. So now, the last thing is put the strain relief on. And it's got this little cutout that it slides on, like so. Okay, then we'll do the other side, like so. And I like to tighten them evenly, one side at a time, just to make sure that it's not going to kick it sideways. And that's a pretty good uh, grip on that cable right there. And there you go. <clears throat> so if everything's right, we will see a green light. And there's our green light. So everything is wired correctly. In the, in the receptacle that we plugged into. So now I can take a tester and I can plug into here and see if these are wired correctly. I don't have a tester around right now where I'd show you. So anyway, let me lay this out and uh, we'll wrap this video up. Alright, here we have it laid out. So we have uh, roughly 30 foot coiled up right here. There's the first box, you got about 10 feet. Second box, another 10 feet. Then the last box. So you can kind of visualize that this will do half a stage, and then the other stringer that we built does the other half. Well, that pretty much concludes the video. So if you like what you see, then give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Share this video with your friends and uh, come back and leave some comments on my videos. Do you like what you see? What did I do wrong? Um, this was just a DIY project that I went to the home center and did for including the extra plugs which I had to buy. They were $10 a piece. I have about $160 in the entire setup. It'll carry a full 15 to 20 amps, no problem. Alright, thanks for watching.